Muslims have had this brilliant capacity in the past when they have a fitna to make something of it. And if you, you saw it, what happened with the first and second fitna, but then think of the Mongol scourge. When the Mongols came through the Muslim world, destroying whole cities and massacring whole populations. And the things must have looked terribly bleak. It left a swathe of destruction. But again, Muslims came back. A, they converted the Mongols to Islam. <laughs> B, they, uh, they, they learned from them and created three major empires, the Ottoman, the Safavid, and the Mughal Empire, uh, the Mongol Empire in, in India, um, which adopted some of the, what they'd learned from the Mongols and created these three of the most up-to-date, advanced states in the world at that time. And even more important, they had a massive spiritual revival. Rumi was a, um, a, a refugee from the Mongols. Somehow, uh, we've got to use this creativity again. This is, you've done it in the past. You can do it again, but it demands creativity. Let's go back to the prophet, for example, peace be upon him. That when, we're told that whenever he received a revelation, he would often grow pale and sweat with the effort, or faint even, even on a, on a cold day. He said, never once did I receive a revelation without feeling that my soul was being torn from its body. We now, as imitators of the prophet, we have to sweat. And we have to struggle because to speak the word of God is very difficult in our, in our violent world. And, but we have to make that effort. And that's what you have a wonderful tradition of doing that in the past. And with, right here in Adams, you can start thinking that sweating process uh, to see what you can do. Uh, everybody, uh, whoever they are, can make a contribution. It's no good expect waiting for our leaders or our enemies to become more compassionate and tolerant if we ourselves are not uh, are giving way to unexamined prejudice and our own likes and dislikes and not and getting stuck in our ways. We have to become exactly the, cha the change we need to see in the world.